Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Dig or Die. And in this episode, we're going to be hopefully building ourselves a nice little bridge that is going to cross this chasm right here, so that we can work towards getting some better materials. Last episode, we built some new stuff, we got some new stuff, built up a nice little base, survived a couple of nights, and it was good, it's good, it was doing, it was, everything's going well. But, we're definitely in need of some resources here before we can continue our little journey on this alien planet. So let's get some stone, we're gonna need some dirt, we're gonna need all sorts of stuff that we just don't really have a whole lot of at this point. And I'm just gonna kinda dig my way down and see what happens. Hopefully I'll find some iron and stuff down here, that would be good. I need iron, I need coal, I need a whole bunch of different stuff. And I have to say, I'm really liking this game so far, and I'm hoping that you guys are too. Oh, come on now. Did we get him? We got him. There we go. So we're just gonna- ooh, there's some coal. That's what we need right there. So I think what I'm gonna do... Is... Come on now. Get it. Okay, there we go. Can I make that jump? Ooh, I can. Excellent. Alright, so here's the coal we need. That'll give us another weapon, which is a... Basically a machine gun. A rapid fire plasma rifle or something like that. We're also gonna need as much of this iron as we can get, too. Because building the bridge is not going to be all that easy. We're gonna have to support it in a lot of ways. One very interesting thing about Dig or Die, when compared to a lot of other similar games, such as Terraria or Starbound, is that there are actually realistic physics. Which means if you try to build a bridge and it doesn't have the proper support structure, it will fall apart and crumble and break. And then it's not a very useful bridge now, is it? Let's see. Let's try and get up here if we can. Ooh, can't quite make that. It's alright, I got platforms. There we go. We need all this iron, we're gonna need a lot of coal. As I said, there's a lot of materials and things that we need that we just don't have a lot of. Those red wasps are already on our list of enemies that come and attack us every night, so we're okay if we have to kill a couple of those. I don't think we've actually killed any of the... Uh, second level dogs yet, though, so, and that would, I'd actually be okay with getting rid of a few of those, because they actually give you an armor upgrade, which would be really useful. But we're just gathering whatever resources we can. I think I'm gonna keep gathering resources for a while, guys, and, uh, I will meet you back at the base. Alright, guys, I am back, and we've made it back to the base. I think that it would probably be wise of us to repair our base in preparation for the night, since that's going to be a thing here pretty quickly. And we can just kind of do that and that there. That should be good enough. Oh, you want to come in that? You want to do that now, do you? Tell you what, I'll come at you from this angle. You need to behave yourself. Breaking my base. Causing me problems. Terrible. Let's just patch that up. And we can probably patch that up as well. Okay, so now we, we should have the resources to make the plasma machine gun. Which we're going to put right over there. And let's give that thing a try. How's that work? Ooh, not too shabby at all. Pretty good range, too, I must say. I like. I like it very much. Alright, so. It's getting to be night. We're gonna see if we can survive our first night here. In today's episode. And I think we'll probably be okay. We've got the plasma machine gun. We've got a lot of turrets to lend some support. Let's do this.
Reload faster! All right. Oh, this plasma machine gun is awesome. I love it. This thing really gets the job done. And it pushes them back pretty well, too. So that's pretty useful. We got guys trying to break in from down there, but I'm not, I'm not even going to really worry about them. I'm far more focused on the guys that are up here. I think we'll be okay. We're halfway through the night. We haven't really seen any significant threats yet. Base hasn't taken a whole lot of damage. That turret's almost gone. But we can easily place it and repair it. Wasp gone. Night's still coming. Not quite over yet, but it will be very soon. And here's the final push. Let's put that down as well. Are we good? I think we're almost good. Those turrets make this so much easier, I must say. I'm almost afraid to go down there and see what it looks like, though. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of enemies down there. There's the autosave. So we did successfully complete the evening. And we can repair these turrets and put those back. And let's go deal with our little unfriendly neighbors hanging out in the basement. That was actually a pretty easy night, all things considered. And that means that it's now time to get to work on building the base. So, what we're going to start by doing is... Oh, actually, we should probably, just a thought, probably make ourselves some more building materials. So let's see here. We'll make a bunch of concrete walls and a bunch of iron supports. That should be a pretty good start, I think. Looks like this whole little section down here has practically been torn apart. But that's okay. We'll just make ourselves a little bridge. And we're just going to use this for running around, getting across. And I'm going to put a couple iron supports right there. That'll help support the bridge. Then we'll kind of work our way back up. And let's actually get rid of both of those so we can put that there now an interesting thing about this this kind of brown background you can place whatever you want on that and it counts as a support so we can actually build pretty well going out in this direction uh, starting to crack better support that Are we good? I think we're good. Let's do a little bit of this. And, ooh, it's, it's breaking again. It's still breaking. I think we're going to have to make another, like, a secondary support structure from over there. Or this is not going to go well. And these wasps really want to put some damage on the bridge, which is not helping me in the slightest. As I'm trying to build this thing. Did I get him? Alright, he's down. So I think we're going to kind of have to build up this little support structure down here a little bit. So maybe we can go something along those lines. And... Maybe from down here or something. I don't really know. I don't really know what the best way to do this is. I do know that my machine gun needs to be reloaded. Hopefully adding those structures in down there will allow us to support this a little bit better. Maybe we can do something kind of like this. Can I work my way 
over here. There we go. We'll do something like that, maybe. Let's see if that supports this a little bit further. Ooh, it does a little bit. A little. It's not broken yet. This bridge, I'll tell ya. Now, there is a trick. Ooh, I think I, I might be able to make that with a shotgun jump. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, so now we can kind of clear out some of this structure and build a bridge over here. Like this. That shotgun jump really helps. Let's just get a bunch of these blue flowers because that's why we came over here. We need those for some very important recipes. I also really want that red gem. There we go. We've got 10. That's it's not much, but it's a good start. Get him. Get him. Come on. Oh, reload, reload. Reload faster. They're coming for me. I think we'll be alright, though. Oh, I fell. Oh, no! Oh, we're all the way back over here. Alright, guys. Well, let me replay back to the point where we were at. And I'll be right back with ya. All right, guys, I am back, and I've successfully made it through over to the other side, gotten my flowers and things that we need to make the Auto Builder Mark III. And the Auto Builder Mark III is obviously a very useful machine, so we better put that down right away. And actually, let's put those back where they belong. And let's see what we can make here. Now, we can make reinforced concrete walls, which are more durable. We can make the miniaturizer Mark III, which we are definitely going to want. We can make a sniper rifle, a laser gun, better turrets, and an auto builder rocket. I need alum, uh, aluminum for a lot of that stuff, though. Let's make some of these reinforced concrete walls, I'm thinking. And we're just going to reinforce sections of the base like this with these reinforced walls which should be a lot stronger and more powerful and a lot they're just better overall defenses than what I had before um well I'm here let's see can I make any of the new turrets no I can't uh let's see about making a few more rotating turrets. I'm guessing I'm probably... I've still got some iron left, but I don't have much for... Light crystals, and I'm actually... I'm really gonna need to buy more iron. Uh, but we will... Or not buy more iron. I'm gonna have to go gather more iron. But we'll put a bunch more turrets down here. I think we're actually gonna get rid of this one. We'll put turrets along there. Maybe a turret here. And I might even... I think I'm actually going to put a couple turrets right down in here as well. Just to kind of help keep the base defended from below. And I think we're actually in pretty decent, uh, pretty decent shape right now. Trying to blow up my turrets. That's not very nice of you. Let's put some of these back. We'll put one right there as well. Okay. So that should get the trick done. As you can see, this base is uh, a little bit crumbly at the moment. But we'll probably... We'll be alright. We'll be alright. And we can just kind of come up here. There was a bunch of iron over here. And since I still got some daylight left, I think I'm going to take advantage of that. And get as much of this as I can. We really need to focus in the next episode, I think, on finding aluminum. Which you can find deep underground. And there's some other resources we'll need as well. 
In fact, I probably could have made a mad dash for them today. Maybe I should have, but that's okay. That's all right. There's these white flowers. Get away from me. Go away, wasp. Now, you'll also notice that the auto builder Mark III gathers resources much faster as well. To the point where I can basically just walk through the wall. Should probably reload. There we go. How you like me now? Should have behaved yourself. You too. Looks like my health is a little bit down though. So that's... That's kind of problematic, but... What I really like to do is kind of build up this bridge a little bit. And see if I can build it in such a way that it actually... You know, supports some stuff. Because right now... It's kind of a pitiful little bridge. Except, I keep getting shot at. And that thing's about to kill me. And that's no good. We don't want to die. Maybe what we'll do is we'll kind of punch out a little hole right there. And then we can just make some platforms to get back up. Ooh, this is not good! Alright, we got him. We're recovering our health, slowly but surely. And let's see how far out we can put this. Okay, it's gonna start to buckle. But will it break? Okay, this one is this one is breaking. Let's come down here maybe. Jump. Let's come over here and maybe add some structural support there. Maybe a little bit right in here. I don't know why this one keeps breaking. I don't know what the deal is with this one right here. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, and I am on the wrong side of the bridge right now. Well, we're just gonna have to shotgun jump across, I think. Uh, better reload. Reload, reload, reload. Alright, we're good. We're back home. We're safe. Reload. Reload the machine gun. Oh no! Bad things have happened. This did not go according to plan. I was hoping to complete that bridge. I should have just left that one block alone. But I couldn't... I couldn't do it. My OCD wouldn't let me do it. We'll be alright, though. We will be alright. I'm just gonna fend off the waves of bugs. The only good bug is a dead bug. Or so I've been told. Provide some some support for my turrets here with these plasma weapons. Um, oh, oh, that was falling. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, we need to get back up to the base. And we need to get back up there quickly. This is a terrible time to have to reload. Alright, up here we're fairly safe. You want, why don't you just fly up here and come get me? You? Because then my turrets can wreck you. Are we good? We're almost good. Not too much for damage. Um, I am going to repair these turrets. Actually, I'm going to re—I'm going to reposition a couple of these turrets. I think. And the good news about this base is that I'm pretty much only vulnerable. Oh, there goes... Oh, I thought that turret was gone, but I guess not. We're okay, and we got the autosave, so guys, we have survived yet another night on this alien world. And I am going to go ahead and end the episode right here, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.
And we'll probably want to put the uh, the pathway and stuff in as well, now that I'm thinking about it. But let's see, we've been using the steel rimmed, uh, which one is it? Steel frame glass, this one right here.